Hi everyone, my name is Mitchell Barron and I am a kayaker with Canoe Kayak Ontario Sprint and I am so excited to be taking part in CKO Sprint Leading the Way social media campaign, especially during Pride Month. Um, this video is just going to consist of me telling you a bit about myself and my journey as a queer paddler. Overall, I am super lucky and thankful that I can say that my experience as being an openly queer paddler has been a good one and you know that I've been well accepted by my teammates and coaches and training partners. Um, I will say that though you know prior to coming out that paddling was an area in my life that I was really stressed about. Um, you know, school and friends and family, I felt pretty okay with. But paddling, I was just a bit more stressed about, you know, how were my teammates going to react, coaches, training partners, how was training camps going to work? You know, how was it, what was going to happen when I need a roommate? How was someone going to react to that? Were they going to make people uncomfortable? Um, and luckily, all that has worked out pretty good. But it was definitely something that I was, I was nervous about. And, you know, I think that I can attribute my good experience to having a lot of good allies in the sport, having, you know, a lot of good coaches that I knew I could rely, rely on and turn to if I needed an ally and, um, my fellow athletes and, you know, coaches setting, setting the tone and setting the stage for the environment in that, uh, it was going to be an accepting environment, and if you didn't like it, then you could you could get out. Um, one thing that has proven to be a bit difficult is that just just the fact that there isn't a lot of queer paddlers, or there's just there's not a lot of queer high performance athletes, to be honest, and. You know, sometimes it can feel a bit lonely or a bit isolating. Um, this past winter, I was away at a training camp for a couple months. And, you know, I was the only openly queer paddler in my cohorts and, you know, in my my training group. And, and not, that, not that anyone was, you know, like, overtly, like, homophobic towards me or anything. But, you know, it's just, it's tough when... You know, sometimes I feel like I can't talk to, to certain people about certain things. So I didn't have something that I could really relate to. Um, and so so that's that can be tough. But I am hopeful that over time uh, there will be more high-performance queer athletes. And um, that that won't be an issue. That won't be an issue for the next generation. And that they'll have lots of, you know, fellow LGBTQ plus uh, people on their team that they can relate to and hang out with. Some advice that I would give to my younger self or to, you know, a younger queer or questioning athlete would be that, you know, as hard as it is and as scary as it is, just really try to embrace who you are and be yourself and, you know, by you expressing yourself to the fullest will inspire more people than you even know. And it'll really have a huge effect on the entire community and on so many people. And like I said, I know it can be scary, but you know, from my experience and from, from my sport paddling, I've seen that if there is people that choose to bully you or make fun of you, to be honest, they're going to be the ones that are left out, not you. So I wouldn't stress too much about that. And like I said, you're going to inspire a lot of people. You know, when, when you're at a national team training camp and you're wearing bright red nail polish and you go up on stage and sing Believe by Cher, no one's going to be making fun of you. They're going to wish that they had the confidence to do that themselves. And... Like I said, you're going to inspire straight people, LGBTQ plus people, all sorts of people just to be themselves and be proud of who they are. So you do you and everyone is proud of you.